Welcome back to another Unbox Plus Learn. Wait, what am I talking about? This is Unbox Plus Learn. This is awesome. So welcome back once again to the coolest show that is available online. Now, today we're going to be looking at how to make the iPad cool again with coding and robotics. And it's super easy to do with my two new robots, Dash and Dot. Now, oh, wait a second. That's last episode. OK. What I have here is the newest robots that are great to introduce to early learning, but let's face it, I fell in love with these things too. So I've got Dash and I've got Dot, and they just came, so let's take a look. Dun, 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 dun. Really a robot. This is really a robot. Now, you're probably thinking, this is a toy. We're putting toys in the classroom. No, this is supposed to look fun. Classrooms are supposed to be fun. Kids are supposed to want to do this. You are going to be fighting your kids for these. And you know what's even extra great? They match my hair. So this is Dash. And da, 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 this is Dot. Now what, you ask? Well, these are the super cool, easiest robots to use because you didn't have to build them. They already came put together. Now I know what you're thinking. That's not a lot of learning. But what's really neat is they come with brick adapters. So I can add these to my robots. Uh, uh, and I can turn them into Lego masterpieces. Or let's go a little bit low tech here and check my maker cart. Nothing that a bit of tape, some paper, some pipe cleaners, they can become anything you want them to be. And they're super durable. Now, the first thing you're gonna have to do when you get these things open and out of the box, is you're gonna have to turn them on. Okay, Dash, you're ready to go. Same thing for Dot. What? Huh. Hmm. Hi, Dot. Okay. okay, they're ready. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have an iPad. I will point out, it has to be an iPad that has Bluetooth 4.0 or higher. How, you're asking, do I know? Do you have the little bitty lightning end or the great big 30-pin adapter? The tiny end is the one that you want. Then you know you're ready. Now. Four apps are available in the App Store for free. Hey, you just dropped your money on the robots. You shouldn't have to pay for this. You download the apps, and they're going to help you set up your robots and get you coding from nothing. You can drive them and just code with your finger. You can draw a path. Or you can actually use Blockly to be able to code them. And eventually, if you want to make some music, we can make that happen too. So we're going to start with Go and open up our app. And the first thing I have to do is it's going to search for my robots. Ta-da! So I'm going to find my robot names. I've got Dash. Oh, he's ready to go. He's ready to party. And I'm going to add Dot. Waho is right, Dot. So now you're probably asking, why doesn't this one move? It rolls. It's in the shape of a ball. But that's about it. And you're right. Dot doesn't move. He's a sensor, and he's a sound maker, and he interacts with Dash. Dash is the one that you can actually make move. Now, I'm going to warn you. Right now, I'm set up on a table. We don't want to pull a Thelma and Louise here, so be cautioned. Do this on the floor the first time. So if I open up my Go app, right away, all I have to be able to do is move my finger. I can drive him. You're thinking, that's not coding. That's a remote control. And you're right. What the kids are going to do is they're going to start with this, and then they're going to learn the science behind those movements through code. But of course, who doesn't want their robots to moo like a cow? There we go. Or if you are telling stories, you can even record your own sounds on here. Now, if I get out of here, I'm going to go into something a little more complex. I'm going to open up Path. Ah, Path. Path is where I actually get to drag my finger and be able to decide where my robot's going to go. So maybe what I'm doing is shape and space in math, and I want to try to create all of the different shapes that I can. So for example, maybe I'm going to create a triangle. Cool. Yeah, it is cool, isn't it, Dot? I've got a triangle ready for my bot to be able to do. Now, this is a, a stunt bot. I'm going to be ready to catch him if he falls, because we're on a table, let's face it. So say go for my program. <laughs> There we go. Oh no, I know, you almost fell off. It's okay. Whoa. The dangers of coding with robots on a table. 
you're okay. So, maybe I could do something a little bit smaller that fits on my table, like a simple circle. Sweet, that was pretty easy. Um, we can do insects investigations in great science, our creepy crawling flying animals. Imagine if we were copying those uh, movements and those habits with robots in nature. That's pretty awesome. Now, if we want to take this one step further, we get out of the Path app and we go to the Blockly app. Here is where some of our coders are going to say, I recognize that. It looks like Scratch. It looks like Hour of Code. And so what I'm actually getting to do is I'm getting to take a block language and I'm going to program my robots to be able to move with the sequences that I set. I can say how it starts, where it drives, where it looks. This is some complex coding that we're allowing kids from the age of four to, I don't know, 104 be able to do. This is not just a toy. This is learning unboxed. So I'm glad you can join us today and my friends Dash and Dot and uh, you know hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see you next time for some other cool unboxing.